Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It's a nice Monday here on the mountain. Uh, weeks off to a good start here in Costa Rica. I uh, got my guest off very early this morning. Actually, I've been up since four o'clock. Kind of throws your day. I've been a little bit not sure what the time is all day. Um, so I'm just kind of settling back into my routine of being here on the property by myself. Haven't been here without guests in like 12 days. Anyhow, I wanted to start the week off by talking about my number one raw vegan tip for success. Um, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button now and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the channel. Um, this is another one of those little videos that just kind of popped up. It just like, um, as events happen, it's kind of like that one the other day when I did uh, Raw Vegan Weight Loss, uh, my recent thoughts. Just trying to share things that are, con that are currently happening in my life, just little insights that I pick up from just day-to-day -day living. And I mean, that's, how, that's, that's what life's about. Um, and I've noticed this before. I'm, I'm real aware of this having had raw vegan guests just leave this morning. Um, they were fully raw. I think they're fully raw all the time. They were fully raw while they were here. We mostly ate fruit. Um, we made a couple of meals together. They were all raw vegan. They were all very clean. Even the little guy, man, he loved fruit, never turned anything down. And it just made me kind of think, you know, when they left, I kind of got a little bit reflective, thinking, blah, blah, blah. And I started thinking about the various, uh, and it hasn't been a lot in my journey, in my five-year raw vegan journey, but the times that I have been with other raw vegans or that I've spent time with other raw vegans, okay, they're the, re the most recent, had, had them come and stay for uh, six nights. Um, I had my friend Latoria come back in uh, February. She stayed for eight or eight nights, seven or eight nights, something like that. Um, back uh, back in uh, August of last year, August, September, Melissa came, Melissa Ramondi of Melissa's Raw Food Romance, and she was here for about 10 days. Um, going back to my very first little house when I moved back to Hako, I was only a raw vegan. This was before I got tossed in the lockup down in Panama. We're going back, oh, uh, close to four years now. And my first roommate in Hako when I moved back from the city was raw vegan. Well, what I'm taking from this <coughs> is this lifestyle, I, you know, and it's taken me a while to really realize this. And I kind of am realizing this for other people more so than for my success. But after spending time with raw vegans, I've just got to tell you, that is so important. You have got to find your people. You have got to get some people in your life. Um, so many people are, are, are swimming against the stream out there and I'm just like man you're just like it's like if I asked you to swim across that pond and it's a hard task in the first place it's a tough top pond to swim across but you decide to have rocks around your neck uh, swimming across there now before I even get into kind of the, the main part of what I'm saying nothing here I'm not telling people like you should divorce your spouses break up your relationships leave your kids leave your family drop your jobs <laughs> get rid of all your friends but you got to have some people in your life I see too many people um, that are like you know they're for instance we'll go with the woman this time they're the female like I've seen so many of these instances what mother you know where she has you know she's taking care of the house she, so she's married say has two or three kids um, nobody's vegan except nobody's raw vegan except for her okay so she's like constantly she's busy you know mothers are pretty busy if some of you didn't know that anyway running around taking care of kids possibly working herself and she's the only raw vegan so that means she's probably she's preparing all the meals so she's preparing hubby those meals that are tempting to her she's preparing the kids meals there's food in the house. She's the only raw vegan in the house, so she can't do something like I do. You know, it's like there's food, there's 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 junk food all around her. There's things all around her that she doesn't eat, and you know, sometimes I just wonder. Like, and, and these people are sometimes very fiercely defiant on that, almost like, nope, I'm going to be raw vegan, but I'm only going to hang around with the non-raw vegan people in my life just because you just that's just what you do. It's just part of the struggle. Once again, I, I'm not advocating anybody just like totally dropping their, you know, life they have right now, but you got to find some people, and I'm talking about in real life. I mean, you do what you do. 
Like, don't anybody be discouraged if you don't fit this criteria or if you don't have any way possible to have any people in your real life. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. I'm just talking about how to make this lifestyle absolutely easy for you, almost where you can't fail at doing it. Um, and, you know, it's so much easier. It's just so much fun. Like, that's the thing for me. It's not, it's, you know, I'm not going to not eat raw because I'm by myself. I'm not going to not eat raw because I'm around, I happen to be around people that are eating things that I don't eat. Um, so that's not the thing. It's not like it's going to, for me, it's not going to hurt me. It's not going to thwart my success by me being around those people. But it's just so nice. It's so effortless when we're around the people that we have common interest in. Um, you know, to be able to prepare food together, not to have that separation. And I know people say, and it's easy, and it is fun. Hey, and I do not say, hey, still, I, I say continue to, you know, go to, go to gatherings and share your food and be around uh, mixed groups. I even still be the only vegan, raw vegan in a group because you know you're sharing some good stuff and you're uh, potentially uh, opening people's eyes and their minds to something that they might not have otherwise uh, experience. But even for you, get yourself some time. You can afford yourself some time and if it's at all possible, try to find a group in your area. Um, try to put out, hell, I've put out vegan ads. I've met a couple of people like that. I've put a couple of vegan ads on uh, Craigslist. It's free. There's various places online. You know, if you're in a city, it may not be the most vegan friendly city, but if you're in a city of considerable size, there's going to be vegans around. Um, yeah, and as you know, as I'm talking to this, this couple that was staying with me, they're a fairly young couple. Um, they're not quite 30 yet, got a little boy, and they're talking about wanting to, and he's, he's really smart. He's got something that he could pick up and not necessarily have to be, you know, in a physical setting, um, probably that he could work on his computer online. but. We were talking about community and stuff, and it, I'm just thinking, like, how nice that would be. I mean, you know, once I, and, and they're kind of interested in that area where I'm going to, and it doesn't have to be a big community, but just think how easy. It's almost like you could, let's put it like this. Let me just, let me just throw out a scenario like that. Let's say I had a group, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not into big groups when I'm talking. We're not so much talking about building an intentional community here as I'm talking about finding your community. But even for that, just having, you know, like a, like a small little community of people, just think how nice that would be if you were living in an area. Let's say, okay, let's say I come back from the States, I move down to Platanijo, and I find an area, and there's a lot of different ages down there, and we had kind of like, there was, a, there was maybe a neighborhood or a certain area or whatever, but you had that certain little core group of, say, just five or six um, raw vegans that you got to, that maybe your, you know, uh, location and uh, circumstances permitted you to be able to get together pretty much whenever you wanted to have meals together. That is just so much nicer. Now, what I'll tell you, if I had that spot, let's say I had a little area that would, and you know, you had room for, say, maybe, eh, six or seven other people within the community. Now imagine, now, you, now that all, I'm, all I'm talking about here, and when I say this is my number one tip for success, I'm always throwing out little things. You might not have access to this. This might not be a possibility to you, but I'm always throwing out different things because if you have each one of them, some people have access to all of them, and that makes this thing flawless. The point I'm trying to get at is community plus access to the food, I would almost like look at you funny. Like if, if I had a little area down there with five or six or seven vegans, already, raw vegans already living there, and you came to live amongst us, let's just say, or you came to visit for three or four weeks, and you came to live amongst us, like would you even remote, I don't even think you would even remotely think cooked food because it would totally be out of your mindset. Number one, you would be in a country where fruit, tropical fruit, good fruit, fresh fruit, all the time is just at your fingertips. Um, and, and down there, most of it would be organic. Number two, you're in a hot climate. You know, that's not terribly conducive to wanting to eat hot food anyway. So as I've mentioned before, you know, this is a country that's very conducive to um, eating raw anyway. People eat, have cold soups down in these Latin American countries. They eat a lot of salads and what have you not saying everybody people don't eat anything that's not bad but you you know what i'm saying um but yeah you know you would almost like i would look at you if you didn't if you weren't fully raw vegan with us almost immediately i would be like why 
because you would have enough food to keep you, you know, uh, to keep yourself full. There would not be any excuse if I can't get enough good fruit. Uh, there'd be greens there too, you know. I believe in my greens. There'd be fat, so you'd be in an environment where you could pretty much go raw vegan overnight. So as I throw out these little hacks, that's what I'm saying, you know. For me, but I'm a single guy. I don't have responsibilities. I can pick up and move pretty much at any time as long as I, you know, arrange a little bit of money ahead of time. But um, yeah, if it were me, and I would do, I would take advantage of many things, many of the tricks available as possible. And I would just want to live the life, the highest of the high that I had available to me. Once again, you know, it's not, not everybody can do this. I mean, not everybody has no responsibilities, no kids, no wife, none of that kind of stuff. So like I say, you have to do the best in your circumstances. But man, when you start adding up all the little things that make it easier, boom, you live around or you're, you're around other people that live this lifestyle. You don't necessarily have to live with them in a community, even if you just have, even if you can just put together a group of friends wherever you are that get together on a regular basis once or twice a week, you know, whatever you can. Um, you got your support group. You've got access to the kind of good fruit you need all the time. And you got warm weather. Those three factors right there will damn near turn you, turn you raw vegan without any of the other stuff, any all of these convoluted videos on how to do step by step by step by step and do this. All the steps are pretty much eliminated. It just would become natural. So find those people. Even for me, it's like it's kind of reignited the spark, you know. Um, I've got about six more weeks here, then I'm going to Woodstock, and I'm looking forward to meeting, I'm looking forward to networking more than anything at Woodstock. And just, when I say networking, meeting people, meeting other raw vegans that hopefully eventually I can invite and they'll come down here and hopefully I can go visit in other places. That would be great, you know. Let's open up our areas to other raw, to people of our kind, you know, where when they come to visit, they know people. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys again tomorrow about the same time. Peace.